Yo, what's up YouTube? Free Snow's Investing back with another video. And today I want to talk to you about the future of deliveries with drones. So currently in today's market, you can get your orders within one to two hours, up to one to two days with most companies. But with the implementation of drones, you'll be able to get your orders within less than 30 minutes, which is just simply amazing. So in today's video, we'll talk about the current state of e-commerce and which companies have the largest market share. We'll talk about the different prices for the different delivery times with different companies. We'll also talk about the drones themselves, which I'm very excited about. Finally, I'll leave you with the financial impact of using drones and which company stands to profit the most. So if you haven't done so yet, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. It helps out the YouTube algorithm, but it also shows that you like and support what I'm doing. So with no further ado, let's cue that intro. According to an article written by eMarketer, these were the top 10 US companies ranked by retail e-commerce in early 2020. You can see Amazon dominates the market at 38.7%. Walmart is a distant second place at 5.3%. Apple is in fourth place at 3.7%. And finally, all the way down in eighth place is Target at 1.2%. I made a bar graph displaying the 2020 revenue show the companies in the previous slide. And you can see that Walmart dominates at $523 billion, even though they only comprise 5% of the e-commerce market. Amazon is in second place at almost half, and you can see that they share a lion's share of the e-commerce market. Apple is in third with 3.7% of the market, and you can see Target way back with $75 billion, and they comprise 1% of the market. So earlier this month, Amazon received federal approval from the FAA or Federal Aviation Administration to be able to fly their drones. And they were able to do that under the Part 135 of the FAA regulations, which means that they're able to fly their drones without humans being present and beyond the visual sight of the operator. Amazon stated that they will work closely with the FAA and other regulators around the world to realize our vision of a 30 minute delivery. And at a conference in Las Vegas last year, Amazon revealed a fully electric hexagonal drone that could carry up to five pounds. And the drone had advanced spatial awareness technology that allowed it to avoid contact with other objects. Last year in 2019, Google and UPS both received FAA approval to be able to fly their drones under part 135 of the FAA regulations, which means that they would be able to fly their drones without humans being present. Earlier this month, Walmart also received FAA approval to be able to fly their drones with a company called Flytrex. And the Flytrex drones can carry up to 6.6 .6 pounds for a total distance of seven miles at up to 32 miles an hour. However, the difference between Walmart and the other companies is that Walmart must abide by the part 107 of the FAA rules, which means that the drone must remain in a line of sight and they have to use a remote pilot. Based on a CIRP article, Amazon Prime ended 2019 with 112 million users. That's up over 12 million at the end of 2018 and more than double the 50 million Americans that were using Amazon Prime at the end of 2015. As far as how much each membership costs, Amazon's Prime membership is $119 a year, or if you want to pay by the month, it's $12.99. And some of the benefits include free two-day shipping, free same-day delivery, and you can also get free two-hour delivery depending on where you live. This is a service that I use. I particularly like Amazon Prime, and there's a plethora of other benefits that you'll be able to see if you would like to pause the video. So since I spend a lot of time in New York, I do like to shop at Whole Foods and being a Prime member gives you free access to free two hour delivery. And you can see that you can pick your blocks. And this is a screenshot of an order I placed. And for $4.99 more, you can also get your food delivered in an hour. I love the convenience of this and it really works out great for me and my schedule. So next you'll be seeing a short video from Walmart debuting a new service this month called Walmart Plus, and it's only available in select markets. So this new service from Walmart was released last week. Now checking on the availability of all the delivery places, I checked several states including New York, Florida, Texas, California, Kansas, Missouri, and Illinois, and I was unable to find an area where they offer Walmart Plus delivery. So it will take some time to be able to see whether or not that will come to fruition or not. Now I think for some of their benefits, I think that hopefully in the future they'll be able to release more benefits to make it more appealing to be able to switch from Amazon Prime over to Walmart Plus. So I'll be looking forward to that. So Walmart Plus is going to cost $98 per year or $12.99 per month. And some of the benefits include savings of $0.05 cents per gallon at Walmart and Murphy stations. You'll also be able to use your phone to check out instead of having to go to a physical checkout location. And you'll be able to get free unlimited delivery and same day delivery on all orders above $35. So based on Walmart Plus is presently constructed, I don't believe its benefits exceed that of Prime. You're able to see a plethora of more benefits. And plus, I'm able to get delivery free in less than two hours as presently constructed. So I like uh, Amazon Prime a lot better than I like Walmart Plus right now. 
So unfortunately, Target is not getting involved in the drone business at this time. However, they do have a same day delivery service that I did want to talk about. So Target is partnering up with a partner company called ship.com. And for $99 per year, you're able to get unlimited orders above $35 with same day delivery. So you can check on the availability of ship.com. You can just type in your zip code and it will tell you what companies are available to you based on where you live. So you can see that living in New York, everything is pretty much available to you. And like I said, you can type in whatever zip code pertaining to where you live and they'll be able to tell you what's available in your area. So you can see that in the Jacksonville area, pretty much everything once again is available to you. So for the next part of the video, we'll be talking about my favorite part, which is the drones themselves. So you'll be able to see some of the Flytrex drones that Walmart will be using and some actual footage from walmart.com. And you'll also be able to see some footage of Amazon delivering packages in different kinds of locations, such as the UK and the US. So the Flytrex drones used by Walmart will be able to carry 6.6 .6 pounds. The Amazon drones at this time will only be able to carry five pounds. The Walmart drones will also travel at 32 miles per hour and be able to have a total range of seven miles. They'll also be different in the Amazon drones in which they'll be able to lower the packages down from 80 feet. The Amazon drones lower themselves down to the ground, drop off the package, and then pick themselves back up. So next you'll be able to see some footage from walmart.com in which they use their drones to deliver the packages. I think this will be more advantageous to the customer because the customer will have to travel less, reducing their risk to C19 in the future. Next will be footage from Amazon. So I pulled this video directly from Amazon Prime in their primary portion of their website. And this video was taken about four years ago in rural England. You can see the Amazon Fulfillment Center kind of nearby. You can see a customer placing an order coming up. Beautiful scenery here. I don't think that uh, orders taking place in rural areas would be much of a problem, but maybe in more urban areas, you have a lot less things in your way, like buildings, uh, more wind, possibly weather that could get in the way of those deliveries. But you can see they just got his order and they guaranteeing orders within 30 minutes. So you can see he ordered two small items and now it's going down the conveyor belt and it's going on to the drone. Now, personally, out of Amazon's three drones, I think this drone looks the best. It's nice and compact. And you can see it going down the runway. I do like this safety feature of it. It's away from people, so it has no chance of hitting anybody around it. So you can see it going up in the air. According to what I've read, the Amazon drones can fly up to 50 miles per hour and they can fly at heights of less than 400 feet. You can see it flying, whizzing along pretty nicely and efficiently. And this is actual footage. So you're actually getting real stuff, not test footage. And this was an actual customer. And you can see that it dropped it off. He had a certain marker that he set out in his yard. The drone went to said marker and dropped off his order. And you can see that at back at the warehouse, it's showing the order is fulfilled. So he goes out and picks up his order and he's a happy guy. And then the drone lifts itself back up in the air and goes back to the fulfillment center. I think this is really cool. Um, if we're able to do this in the future. Now, Amazon did not give a release date of when they were going to start doing these orders. They just got the FAA approval. So I'm sure in the next couple of years that this can be a reality for customers. And like I said, I love it. I love the idea of it. I love tech. And this is one of my favorite things. So for this next video, it just shows a different kind of drone. Um, but kind of the same kind of concept. You can see the customer placing an order and you can see that 30 minute delivery window, which is really cool. And the Amazon Fulfillment Center. Now I think this is over in the US. Obviously the Fulfillment Center is a little bit larger. There's a lot more items, but the item has been selected, put in an Amazon Prime box. And then this is going to go onto the bottom of the drone, going down the conveyor belt. Now the setup for this facility is a little bit different. The drones in the last video released from outside of the facility, but you can see this is released in the inside of the facility. So I'm sure that they'll take safety precautions so people aren't getting hurt, people aren't possibly getting hit by these blades. Yep, and it's going out of the fulfillment center, up into the air, um, and onto the customer. Now I think one complaint that people might have for these drones is the noise that they make. Um, they're really loud and kind of annoying sometimes. So I'm not sure if Amazon will address that noise issue. But you can see that the difference between this video and the last video is it just drops it off in the yard. There's no marker. And the Amazon person just got their, their order and they're very happy about it. So these are some images from the Amazon Prime Air directly from the Amazon website itself. And there are three different kinds of drones that I've seen. Now some specs for the drones include that they'll be able to fly up to 50 miles an hour at heights less than 400 feet and be GPS guided. 
They can also carry up to five pounds and any order through primary must be able to fit in the box. Now these drones will lower themselves down to the ground before dropping off the package and then ascending back up after making the delivery. So Google did receive FAA approval to be able to fly their drones and they actually have their own company called Wing.com. Now Wing currently operates in three different countries, Australia, Finland, and the United States. And for more specific locations, they operate in Christenberg, Virginia. They also operate in Canberra and Logan, Australia, and finally in Helsinki, Finland. So some specs on the drone include that they can carry up to 3.3 pounds and they can also fly less than 400 feet. So next you'll be able to see a video from wing.com and they'll you'll see them using the drone in the video. So for this scenario, there will be three different scenarios in which people will need to use the wing drones. And you can see these people are riding through the hills on a bike trail going really, really quickly. And then one of them falls and is going to scrape their elbow. So obviously they need a first aid kit, a little bit of medical attention. So they're able to place an order to the wing.com drones. It's received by this looks like sporting goods place. They're able to put in a first aid kit in the box. This young man, he's trying to make something in the oven. I'm not sure what that is, but it looks gross. And he needs to put in an order for some cupcakes. So he's able to use the wing drones to put that order in. And this young man, he's trying to take care of his horses and he has broken a buckle. So he needs a new buckle for his horse to be able to have the bridle or whatever needs to be done with that. So he places in the order and they're able to get that shipped out to him relatively quickly now it doesn't say really a time frame to put these orders in but it's relatively quickly based on this commercial i'm presuming less than 30 minutes my only trepidation with this would be that if you're in a remote area would you be able to send out the, and if you couldn't get a signal would you be able to send out uh, the order still or would they be able to find you like i said based on that remote location but if you need a medical attention, I think this would be a very good service to be able to get that. Or if you live in a rural area, you need something really quick, really small, and you don't want to wait the two to three days like you would with Amazon, then this would be an excellent and great alternative to be able to do that. And everyone's happy at the end of the video. And I think it's a pretty good service. So UPS, which was the first company to receive FAA approval to be able to fly their drones, is actually partnering up with a company called Matternet to deliver medical supplies throughout a hospital in North Carolina. And according to the UPS, the Matternet drones can fly up to 12 and a half miles and carry medical payloads weighing up to five pounds. They've also been utilized in Florida to deliver prescriptions to the elderly. Next is going to be a video coming from UPS. So out of all the companies that will be utilizing drones, Walmart, Amazon, Google, and UPS, I think that UPS takes a solid second place just because of the way Amazon is moving and them increasing more packages in the future. I think that they'll clearly be in the number one position. But you can see that the lady driving the truck, she's not controlling the drone at all. She's going to deliver her own package and the drone is automatically uh, delivering the package for her. All she has to do is put the package into the drone. This is able to save time because the truck doesn't have to travel as far. It can go ahead and deliver its delivery and this will consume less fuel. This will also help with less driving to save on wear and tear of the trucks, reducing the cost for UPS. Now UPS's drones can fly the longest distance out of all the drones that I've researched. It can fly up to 12 and a half miles and it can also carry up to five pounds. So lightweight packages will be essential and UPS being able to make up on that commitment to use those drones. And this will be under flight 135 part of the FAA rules. You can see that the drone returns itself right back to the truck itself. The lady doesn't have to do a single thing and it completes the order and she's on about her business. I do like this business model and I am excited to see what UPS can do in the future. So the company that I think that will benefit the most from drone delivery will be Amazon. Amazon could potentially save billions of dollars on shipping costs and hopefully pass on these cost savings to the consumer. As of July, Amazon shipped out 66% of its own packages compared to 61% between April and June. So hopefully the decrease in reliance on UPS and FedEx will hopefully help to destroy the competition and help Amazon to overtake the market. Over the last four quarters, Amazon spent $47 billion on shipping costs and shipping costs have historically grown faster than revenue. So by using drones, you can eliminate things like vehicles, drivers, and fuel, which can help to save more money. Amazon is very adamant about cutting their costs because cutting their costs will help the company hopefully make more money in the future. And they said in this Motley Fool article that we believe that offering low prices to our customers is fundamental to our future successes. And one way to offer lower prices is through our shipping offers. So any cost savings that Amazon might achieve will be passed right back to the consumers in the form of lower prices, more prime benefits and other savings.
85% of Amazon's orders are less than five pounds, so I think that drone delivery will help them greatly in that regard. So I would love to get your thoughts. What do you think about the future of drone deliveries? I'm very excited because I know in the future that you'll be able to order something off Amazon and you'll be able to get your order within 30 minutes. And also I like the environmental impact. There'll be less vehicles on the road, also less people on the road consuming less fuel, which will help to save the planet. All of these things can produce cost savings, which can be passed on to us, the consumer, and I like things cheaper. If you found this video valuable, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. As always, don't forget to invest in yourself, continue to educate yourself, lower your debt, and increase your assets so one day you can be financially independent. This has been another update by Fritz Jones Investing, reminding you to always continue to get that passive income. I'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching.